the semi-rural holding that you see here if we pick the red line giving us the boundary is about 1500 square meters in area and the proposed building has been placed towards the center of the block and there'll be an access road coming from the top and working down the holding will require some form of shelter belt planting and for that rather than use GCAT plus library and standard or size plants we suggested in a case like this it's a good idea to use broad scale planting and for that we've got symbols for new trees new large shrubs if there were existing trees on the site we could use that symbol and we'll put in some new plant shrubs so insert into the drawing we can zoom in here and we can put these understory planting in so we can copy it copy copy like so so i'm building up my shelter belt planted now we have tools for uh, labeling those under gcat plus broad scale planting we can attach a plant database file we can label a group of symbols and so on it gives you an opportunity with that system i won't go through it now but you can, for the sake of argument, draw a line from the center of this one down to here and to that one and there and then come back up and label the taller trees. I keep clicking on the image file, so it's not a bad idea at this stage, I think, to turn off the images there. And we're now working on the boundary planting. If you'd like the that the design had more impact you could take for the sake of our the tall, new tall tree symbol edit the block and you could fill this one and you could even change the transparency to about a third and then close the editor can you see now that your new planting shows up quite nicely they are the taller trees to go in and then in this case we're going to edit this block and we can pick this one again its color is 46 we could give it a, a transparency and a fill and close the block editor so now we're showing quite quickly and easily our planting our shelter belt planting to go around the outside of the block so be a little careful about which technique you use when putting in this sort of mass scale planting. We now need to add a GCP file or plant database file to this design. Now I think it's from the Czech Republic, so I'll have to look for some shelter belt species that might work for us. Well, let's make a new GCP file for this particular development. So we'll go to tools, create a GCP file, and there we are we can now start filling in the details of the species that we're going to use on this site but well, once the empty plant schedule has been created it's just a matter of filling out the details type in the botanical name and common name type and code and so on you can choose any code you like or any category here once you've done that the, the columns can be sorted so you can sort on type or sort on botanical name even sort on common name obviously with a small list like this it's very easy to find things but this is the list that's going to be used to identify and label those screening plants and boundary planting species in this design well let's label these shoulder belt planting species so gcode plus broad scale planting label a group of symbols and hit enter to set the text position so let's put some sycamores in we'll label the sycamores rather and note down in the command area we're going to do multi tagging so from here to here to here to here let's imagine they are all sycamores we hit enter and we're asked to position the link label pop it here now we indicate the height so i'll just indicate that dynamically and then right click to unselect all notice we've got the line running through here and it's on a label called broad scale 
Let's have a look at the colour of that layer first. It's being run by block. I we'll actually need to change that and we'll make it colour 7 just for the moment. And as soon as I do that, you can see that the, um, the label shows. It's put the label in and given us the number. So four sycamores go in there. So the rest of the labeling works in the same way. Well, let's label another group. So it's GK plus broad scale, label another group. And we'll pick one of these smaller ones. We want on the medium. Let's have the Juneberry here. And it's going to be multi. Select the symbol, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then we'll hit enter label point for the text will come down here and height will leave the height the same and unselect all so that group's been done the key issue is that we can use the same symbol for different species so let's do that link label again and we can say we're just going to like one of these can be an albizia and we pick the albizia before we do that, we'll indicate single, select the symbol, and hit enter. Label text can go here, same height, like so. I need some small adjustment there, don't I? And I might well move that piece of text there. So the same symbol is being used to indicate different plant species. Once you've worked your way through the shelter belt, of course, you can then generate a plant list with appropriate um, totals for the individual plants required.